MIT researchers have developed a new fabrication technique that enables them to produce low-voltage, power-dense, high-endurance soft actuators for an aerial micro-robot. These artificial muscles vastly improve the robot's payload and allow it to hover for 20 seconds, which is the longest ever recorded by a robot of its size. The rectangular micro-robot, which weighs less than one-fourth of a penny, has four sets of wings that are each driven by a soft actuator. These muscle-like actuators are made from layers of elastomer that are sandwiched between two very thin electrodes and then rolled into a squishy cylinder. When the voltage is applied to the actuator, the electrodes squeeze the elastomer and that mechanical strain is used to flap the wing. This new fabrication technique produces artificial muscles with fewer defects, which dramatically extends the lifespan of its components and increases the robot's performance and payload. The more surface area the actuator has, the less voltage is required. So the researchers built these artificial muscles by alternating between as many ultra-thin layers of elastomer and electrode as they could. They were able to create an actuator with 20 layers, each of which is 10 micrometers in thickness, about the diameter of a red blood cell. During the spin coating process, an elastomer is poured onto a flat surface and rotated rapidly. The centrifugal force pulls the film outward to make it thinner. However, air comes back into the elastomer and creates a lot of microscopic air bubbles, which become stronger as the layers get thinner. They found that if they perform a vacuuming process immediately after spin coating, while the elastomer is still wet, it removes the air bubbles. Removing these defects increases the power output of the actuator by more than 300% and significantly improves its lifespan. Currently, the team is limited to how they can make the layers due to dust in the air and a maximum spin coating speed. They are planning to work in a clean room, which will eliminate this problem and would allow them to use methods that are more precise. Ultimately, they hope to reduce the actuator layer from 10 micrometers to only 1 micrometer, which would open the door to many applications for these insect-sized robots.